ERA supporters from across the nation and from 67 Florida counties gathered today in Tallahassee at a park to begin their final march to the Florida Capitol, ending a 10-year battle to ratify the Equal Rights Amendment. I think the most critical issue is the fact that the women aren't included in the Constitution of the United States. And along with that comes the fact that we just don't have the rights of an American citizen that we should have. The procession to the Capitol was led by Governor Bob Graham, who has called a special session for Florida lawmakers to vote on the ERA June 21st. Why don't we ask them to rise above the myths, to rise above those old tired cliches that have been brought out of the closet again and will be in the next two weeks and face the reality of what this means in the lives of hundreds of thousands of citizens of this state. These women say they want to end sex discrimination, and so do these men. At the Capitol, people danced and listened to music, all in support of ERA. Today's ERA march to the Florida Capitol is the most successful in this state's history. As everyone reached the steps of the Florida Capitol, the numbers exceeded 15,000. All supporters from hundreds of pro-ERA groups here to call on the conscience of just a handful of legislators who have prevented the passage of the amendment. Well, we sent these people here to represent us. They're working for us, not we for them. And if you can't carry out the will of the people, you are incompetent for the job and you should be removed. The deadline is June 30th, and if any one of the three remaining states, Florida, Illinois, or Oklahoma, fail to ratify the amendment, it will be another 10 years before another vote can be taken. Jerry Cohen, Channel 4 News, Tallahassee.